are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? I just saw you on your phone. Yeah, I'm talking to a lead. You're working a case? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. So what's so interesting about this case? Why do you find anything interesting in this? Why are you interested in the case? I mean, are you supposed to be smiling while investigating the case? Frida, please. Whatever it is you want to say, just save it, okay? And go tell that neighbor of yours, that's your favorite neighbor, that she should stop parking behind me. And the next time that she bashes my car, I swear to God, she'll find her car in the junkyard. Keep ignoring me. At least I know you heard what I said. <laughs> See, she bashes my car again. And you know I'm serious. Come in. <clears throat> and you started to knock. I thought your mother was here. <laughs> Why would you think that? Because he's always here and you guys are always at it like cats. At what? The whole love thing. Always sticking your tongues in each other's mouth like yeah. Hmm. Someone is beginning to think that she's a saint. I know I am not a saint, but you, you were a saint before you met that guy. But now, you're the worst of sinners. So what? I love him. I already know that. <sighs> I think we should celebrate our two months anniversary. Oh my god, if you start celebrating relationship milestone now, what happens when it gets to 11 years old? We still celebrate. You get tired, trust me. No, it's not true. Okay. Soon Come on, party. We heard you the first time. Come on now. I don't like that though. Hey guys, never for this noise. It's okay. Party. The fact that you shot the boss doesn't give you the right to run your mouth around my business. I won't warn you again. Boss. Come, boss. Welcome. Tell me. So tell me, what were you thinking? Running our operations like it's child's play? Answer me! I didn't mean for it to happen, Chief. I didn't think, oh, 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 oh you didn't think. Do you know, I pay you to think. The only reason you're still in this venture is because you can't think. Oh, well, maybe you're smart. But you see, being smart doesn't cut it right now in all of this. You know, I think you're slipping. I mean, I felt, I felt surprised when I heard that you were losing it. Uh, tell me now. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Chief. It will not happen again. <laughs> it better not happen again. <laughs> Else, if it does, it's better you disappear. Oh, yes. How dare you put your personal business before our a joint venture? Do you understand the consequences of all of this? You put all of us at risk. There are consequences and someone has got to pay. Don't worry, Chief. I'll handle it. You had better. Have you heard of the butterfly effect? No, Chief. Good. There is an invisible chain around all of us. And actions beget consequences. Actions beget consequences. Never forget that. Well, I don't have much time. Can we talk outside? Why not? <laughs> you going to ask me how? Not necessarily. What have I done this time? What do you want me to say? Welcome. How are you? How about that first start? Oh, you know me. I have issues. I've always had issues. So why are you feigning surprise now? Is this another of your mood swings or are your hormones going haywire? What is it? You know, it was a lot easier before we got married. Well, now you can't even read my mind. You're absolutely clueless. Tell me about it. Where do I start from? Hmm? Is it the fact that you have absolutely no idea what to do with a woman? Well, you make it pretty difficult to be able to think of even doing anything with you. Is it because you're not man enough? I like to think I'm man enough. You said so yourself. Well, if you're man enough, tell that woman to stop packing her tin can behind my car. But you're not man enough. You can't do that. You're weak. Toby. Toby, I'm talking to you. What do you want me to say? I want you to go down there and tell her to stop packing behind me. Frida, this whole environment, the parking lot belongs to everybody. Anyone can park anywhere they want to park. I don't care. I don't want her behind my car. I spoke to her and she said she likes that spot. She leaves very early and comes back very late. What else do you want me to tell her? Well, I don't know. You think of something, you're the smart one.
Toby. All you do is just walk out on me every single time. Zoe, are you okay? Are you okay? What is this? Zoe, please talk to me. You're freaking me out. I went to see Tamuna today. I was going to surprise him. By the time I got to his house, he was driving off. I don't know why, but I followed him. I wanted to do something fresh, I guess. Tamono is not into real estate. He's a drug dealer. I saw him. I should have noticed, right? I hope he didn't see you. He hid it. No, I don't know. I don't know. I ran out from there as fast as I could. Listen to me. Don't allow him to have access to you anymore, okay? It's so scary. It's so scary. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. It's just it's so scary. Out of my way. I'm here to see Zoe. And I said she's not around. How difficult is that? Come on, see. And I'm not here for your plenty drama. Just get out of my way. Drama. Tamuno, this isn't a drama. 
This is me telling you to stay away from my friend. You? Tell me to stay away from your friend? And who told you that's your call to make? Tell me, please just leave. Is that not the manager? Get out of my way. Ikene, I heard you're sniffing around my girlfriend. And what are you going to do about that? What am I going to do about that? Oh, I don't blame you. You're killing yourself over a girl that doesn't care about you. Come on, get over yourself, bro. You would never have her. You can never get her. Samulo! Please, just, just oh, stay away. I was already on my way out. Tell Zoe I called when she comes back. Can you imagine that? I wonder what Zoe saw in that guy. Is it always like that, though? Not really. By the way, where is Zoe? I pitched out with a client and then she's supposed to get back to me. I haven't heard from her. I haven't seen her either. They're not eating. Yeah, I wish you would just choke on that food. What did I ever even see in you? Do you know what I hate side snakes? Liars and cheats. Men, low life men who have no respect for their wives. Okay. What is this all about? That's the thing. You never know what anything is about. You're always clueless. For a detective, don't you think that's too long? Why do you never ever get tired of, of this emotional blackmail you put me through every single time something does not go your way? Is this about Kelly? Kelly's car? You can park your car anywhere in this compound. The compound is large enough, Frida. Enjoy your meal, darling. <laughs> Like a week tops. Just make sure you take proper care of this place. And you too. Thank you so much, Annie, for supporting me and coming to stay with me. And for every other thing you've done. Hey. I mean, what are friends for? I should be thanking you too for letting me stay. And not just the other way around. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be fine? I'll be fine. I'll, I'll be better. I'll get over it. I'm so glad to hear that. Now, help me take the bags out of this place. I need to be at the airport in less than 30 minutes. Come here. Me too. Is the taxi? Yeah, I think he's outside.
How you doing? I couldn't sleep. Um, I miss you. I just want to talk to you. Mm. Do you think your wife suspects anything? Okay. Um, I met this talent manager and I was thinking maybe I need a manager for um, okay. <laughs> Listen, you really do not know who I am, right? Listen, no, you know, you listen. I am chief. Coca, the one and only Coca. In due time, I will get you. Do you understand me? Hey, do, you, do you understand me? I will get you. Has the boy done what I asked him to do? I don't think so. Patty, what do you mean you don't think so? I just asked a simple question. It's either a yes or a no. I don't know. What's all this drama about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I keep you as an eye to watch over these boys and... <laughs> You're acting like my wife? Besides, you know I have one. What? Is that all I am to you? I say. Oh. Is that going to be a problem? No. But listen, Good. sweetheart, you need to get a house for these guys. They're becoming so uncontrollable under my roof. Patty, I can't deal. Patty, just, just hold on. You need to contain and curtail them. Besides, I just need them around so you can keep an eye on them. Treat the problem. That's not a consultant. I'm not bound by any of your company's policy. It's really one more thing. The next time you call me with this sentence, you'll be here. You know, for someone who did not sleep last night at all, you look very radiant. I look radiant all the time. Mm. I wonder where you got that from. Mm. <laughs> did you get enough sleep? No, I did not sleep throughout the night. I'm working on this very high profile murder case. Oh. So what can I do to make you feel better? Let me see. Uh... How about uh, those trademark sandwiches of yours? Um, okay, one sandwich coming right up. Make that three, because this man is famished. When I come back, <laughs> better keep them ready for me, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Toby, you don't even know what you're playing with. Ah. 
Why are you staring at me like this? Am I not supposed to look at you? Is there something you'd like to tell me? I'm tired. I need to go and rest. Are you sure you're okay? Depends. Be careful you don't cut yourself. I need him behind bars. That guy is a criminal. Exactly what I am saying. That guy can be a joke sometimes. All right, babes, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay.
<clears throat> troubles at work? Hmm? Are you having troubles at work? No, no, no. So, I've been thinking, maybe we should see a marriage counsellor. What do you what? think? I said maybe we should see a marriage counsellor. Yeah, uh, okay. No problem. Uh, can we talk about this later? Auntie Bisola, Ejo, have you seen Zoe? Who is this? It's Tobima. Of course I know it's you. Why are you calling me? Why are you asking me if she's here? Were you not the one that got a house for her? You should know where she is. I thought maybe she came to visit you. Why would you be thinking that? Because I've been calling her all day. I've been calling her all day. I've not been able to reach her. I tried her so I thought maybe I should check in with you. Have you checked the house? I'll go there after, after work. She had better be fine. Toby, did you hear me? She had better be fine. She will be fine. She has to be fine. Okay. Yet her number is not connecting. Maybe her phone is down. Okay. Let it be that it is her phone that is down. Pray to God, though, that it should be her phone that is down. Hmm. Okay. The person you call is not available. Uh -uh. Hey. Uh -uh. The person you call is not available. Uh -uh. Hey. Uh -uh. Sorry, I'm home.
Is she back yet? No. I've tried reaching her all day, but I couldn't reach her. But you spoke to her last night, right? Yes, that was around 8 p.m. I spoke to her before then and she was fine. She was off so fine when I, I spoke with her. We were supposed to go check out a new spot she found tonight. But I can't just reach her. I'm scared. Did she tell you she was going anywhere? No. No. Maybe she's with friends. I'm sure by the time she finishes charging her phone, she'll call. I pray so too. If she's not back by tomorrow, I'm filing a missing persons report. I need the missing persons report put out for Zoe Lawansin Adeboye. She's 27. She was last seen at her house on Nugbe Street. I'll send you the picture right away. Please, I need you to do this immediately. Thank you. something? Still hiding something from me? You're always hiding something. Frida, I really don't have time for this talk right now. Well, I guess that makes both of us. Yeah. Want something to eat? Hello, Raymond. What's up? She's dead. So I, I'm, I'm not hearing you. What you say? Wait, wait. D did you confirm this? How did you come to that conclusion? Are you?
どうああHave you seen my pair of socks, the blue ones? I'll call you back.
Raymond, I need you to arrest my wife for murder. I will not let you do this, officer. I know my rights. And please, don't make this more difficult than the way it is already. Please, move. Madam, please. Is this really what you want, Toby? To arrest me for something I don't know about? What kind of man are you? Take her away. Madam, please. God, you make me sick. We don't need to get to the hard way. I was at your child's name in ceremony, remember? But now you treat me like a common criminal. Yet you want me to be all lovey-dovey with you. How does that work? What the heck do you think you are? Please. I just need you to cooperate with me. Okay? You think I'm happy? I'm not happy with the situation either. But you think I killed her? I think there's an evidence against you that you need to let me know. I didn't kill her. I did not kill anybody. But you were there. I did not kill her. Yes. She's still insistent, she's innocent. She's not. Trust me. You just have to know what buttons to press. So what are you suggesting? Go all in. Toby also stopped my lawyer from coming to see me. I swear you all, you all pay for this. I swear. I had a harder rough time in cell. Tell me the truth, Frida. Because this will not end the way you think. I did not kill her. I've never had any intentions of killing anybody. But you did. I did not. Madam, she is dead. So what? What happened to, to, to innocent until proven guilty? She's dead, so what? I didn't kill her. I went there with a gun to just shoot her in the leg to teach the hyena a lesson. To stay away from my husband. So you killed her? I did not kill her. Are you deaf? Toby and I, our relationship has not been the same since we got married. Okay? He, he was really cool, you know. I don't know. I don't want to know. It's just not of our business. <sighs> he was cool. He was calm, friendly, everything I wanted in a man. He was not like any of the other guys I used to date. Yes, he was older, but I didn't care. But then this hyena comes into our our lives and he, he changes all of a sudden. And what am I supposed to do? Just sit back and let her take my man? 
سوی پیر خواهم پوری هم تیده تا Well, I wasn't supposed to take the phone, but I did. I was hoping to find something incriminating on it so I could show him. I couldn't just tell him I was suspecting him of cheating without an evidence. I needed evidence and that's why I took the phone. So did you find anything incriminating? Of course I did not. Her phone was locked. I don't have her password. You really should get your ears clean more often. We're in this together. I'm not the enemy here. Oh, really? So who is the enemy? Tell me, who is the enemy? Who is the enemy? Tell me. Eh? If you had not come here to take her away, my girl, would have still been alive. <laughs> if you didn't come here, promising her a better life, she would have still been alive right here with me. Tell me, with me. If you did not come here with your fancy car and such shit. My girl would have still been alive! Don't be! You are right, Auntie. I should not have taken her from here, but I felt I was doing the right thing. Oh, really? The right thing? What have you achieved? Don't be tell me. What have you achieved? You can't talk. Can it bring her back to life? Tell me, no! Tell me, that girl was all I had. She was everything to me. She was all I had. I raised her like my own. Toby, you have succeeded in taking away everything from me. Everything. Leave. Get, get out. 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 Ha 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 What have you done? Why did they do think? Why did they do think? Why did they do think? Why did you let her go? I should have thought. I should have let her go. Hey! Allah! Ah, Jesus! Ah! Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. What I'm waiting for now is for one responsible young man to come and ask for your hand in marriage. Auntie, there's no rush. Ah, we're not rushing anywhere. Hmm? You're ripe enough now. Uh-uh, you're old enough to get married. But the one that is vexing me is that um, you're not even dating anybody. You don't have a boyfriend. Mm. I do now. You do? Which one? That useless boy. He's useless. I can't even recommend that kind of a person for marriage. Auntie Boy, you hardly even know him. I don't need to know him. I have seen him. I don't like him. 
He's ugly and he is very mannerless. Auntie Mo. What? Auntie, why don't you want me to meet Mr. Toby? Ah, did he? He's not good for you. But he's, he's my father. He's the only other person I have in my life, apart from you. I know. But that man is bad news. He is bad. Eh? Anything he touches, he makes a mess of. Look at what he did to your mother. Eh? With his wickedness and his evil lifestyle. Not, not for that. Your mom will still be here with us in our life. People make mistakes. A lot has changed about him. It's changed. My dear, I can tolerate any form of mistake. But you see that one that involves people's lives? I will not tolerate it. How much longer will you keep blaming him for the things that happened? Your mom that happened. Look at now, he got her pregnant. He abandoned her to face it all alone. Uh -uh. That is the height of wickedness. That is pure wickedness. And she was barely 15. And he was 16. A lot have changed about him. Yes. Mm. You should know now. Because you know him that well, Abby. Well, bet my hand, Joe. If you like, squeeze your face. It's bad news, and that's final. Bet it well, oh. Bet this thing well, Joe. Put more here. Put more here. Put! Toby, you know, left for me. You will not come anywhere near this house. But I'm only doing this for the sake of your daughter. I mean, 27 years is too long a time to hold on to a crutch. Auntie, thank you for seeing me. You don't have to thank me. I'm only doing what I'm supposed to do. Um. Auntie, I wanted to ask, why did you tell me Zoe was dead all these years? What was I supposed to tell you? No, tell me. You want us to begin to dig out things. Let's start digging out things. Auntie. Why did you deny my sister's pregnancy? No, Toby, tell me. Why did you deny? Even when you heard that she, she died in the labor room, were you not feeling relieved? Of course, it was a big relief for you. So, how on earth was I supposed to tell you that the baby she gave birth to survived? Auntie. You know, there's no sorry. In fact, I wish there was a sorry I could say that would make up for what I did. Yeah, don't say anything. Just sit down there quietly and let me do what I'm doing. That's right. Zozo, this is your father. Mm -mm, don't give me that fake smile. I know you know, so don't pretend. I know you have been seeing him in the secret. There's no need for all that anymore. Mm. I'm doing this because of you. Thank you so much. You know, I love you very much. I love you too. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> You're smiling. My baby. Toby, do you really have to do this? Do you have to take her away? Uh, it's the best thing for her right now. You see, there are much more modeling opportunities in Lagos than there are in the battle here. And um, it's the best thing for her, really. 
Please don't take my baby away from me. Joe. I'll visit you every weekend. So you have nothing to worry about. I know, but I will miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> oh yeah, leave now if you have the mind to leave me here. Mm. <laughs> I'll visit you every weekend. You better do. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Come here. Mm. Look after yourself, okay? Don't make me cry. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. <laughs> okay. She wants to cry. Once a coward, always a coward. Why didn't you stay back in hiding? Oh, so now all of a sudden you want to show me your face? You know the truth. I am not really interested in your nagging today. I need answers. Why did you kill Zoe? Why do you think I killed her? Answer the question! You think I am joking here? I didn't kill her. Then who did? And how did her phone come to be in your possession? You know what I've learned about you in the course of our marriage? You are mean. Very, very mean. You are low. Extremely low. So low that there is no depth to which you can reach that you cannot do. Even this one. Thank you for the compliment. Talk. I didn't kill her. She wasn't even there when I got there. This is bullshit. What do you expect me to say? You want me to admit a crime? You want me to admit to a crime I know nothing of? 
And you expect me to believe your innocence with that shabby story of yours? Why are you even so bothered about if I'm innocent or guilty? Let's leave that for the judge to decide. Frida. I mean, you've ignored me the past few months. Just keep up that energy, okay? And how is that going to help? I don't know. You know how to keep secrets, Abby? Good. It's my turn to keep secrets, and I'll keep my own secrets for the judge. It will never. Look, listen. Madam, please. I will call upon my ancestral deities and bring curses on your head. Madam, Come on, get, 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 get out of my room. Get out. Get out. Are you mad? Come on, get out. And, and you. It will never be well with you, Toby. It will never, ever be well with you for what you did to my sister's daughter. How pathetic! I kept that girl away from me for 27 years and she was fine. Everything was okay. Just one year with you, Toby, and you sent her to the mortuary. What kind of a father are you? You couldn't even protect your own daughter. Ha, ah, Toby. I will make you suffer. You will pay for this. For the pain that you're making me feel right now. I will, I will make sure you pay for it. You will suffer. Back my words. And you. When you're done with your jail term, I am so coming for you. Come sense. I only just found out a year ago that I had a daughter when I traveled to Badon for Fulu's wedding. But you didn't think to tell your wife? I did. But I knew you would not take it well. Is that so? Yes, that is so. That is so because every woman that comes around me you see as a rival and that is why you trashed my wedding ring, refused to wear yours. How was I to explain that my 27 year old daughter I had that was in the picture had only come to know about her existence recently. You just could have said something. Anything. I plan to. I plan to take you on a trip and tell you there. Until you did this.
Yes. Um, hello, sir. Yes, it's me, Annie. Please, something just happened. It's, it's urgent. I need to talk to you. Yes. Okay. What's going on? Annie. It's Tamano. The same Tamano. Right about what? Tamana is a drug dealer. So he saw something she shouldn't have seen. We thought of telling you, but it was still too soon. I thought it would be better we didn't tell you about it until she broke up the relationship. And you felt you could do my job better than me? Uh, Why? You should have said something. Why didn't you say something? Because I never thought he would hurt her. What changed now? Tamuno was here today. He had this weird look like he was just so weird. I, I, I think he knows that I know something. You should have said this or something. You should have said something all along. She said nobody saw her. Nobody saw her? The fact that the door was open means there was a surveillance camera somewhere. Someone definitely saw her. Patsy saw her. They caught her on tape. There was nothing I could do to save her. Man, what's up, my day? You're not done with this. Come on. Come, come, come. Let me get here. Any show? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Come. Oh. Where is she? 
Very soon. It was either they kill her or they kill me. And it wasn't just about me. They were going to kill my mom and my sister. And so, instead, I had to sacrifice my daughter. I need him behind bars. That guy is a criminal. Exactly what I am saying. That guy can be a joke sometimes. All right, babes, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay.
Is this your way of uh, justifying your actions? Is this how you want to find your redemption? No. Then why is it that I'm listening to this stupid explanation about how you had to sacrifice and murder my daughter so you could save your mother and your sister? Why? Answer this question for me. Did my daughter have to go because she had to go? Or did she have to go because you were convinced that you had to murder my daughter? That woman that you killed did nothing but love you. Nothing but love you. That's not how it happened. Then how did it happen? How did it happen that you managed to kill my daughter? How did you lower yourself to lower than a beast to murder my daughter? Tell me how it happened. Babes, I notice you've been avoiding me. I thought you should have taken that as a plea to stay away from me. Is it because of what you saw? Yeah. What? I know you followed me to that place. Babes. I can, I can explain. Explain that you're a liar? That I don't have to trust you? I don't believe that you have anything to explain. Zo! Tamuno! You deserve to be in jail! Yes! I am going to tell my father. Do you know how many lives you're destroying on a daily basis? Do you know how much you hurt me with your lies? If I had told you the truth, would you still love me? You lied and that's all. You don't have to justify it. Come on, babes. I'm not trying to justify anything. I had to do it. I had to do it to get my family out of debt. If I didn't do it, they would take my sister. You are pathetic. You always have an excuse. Tell me your father is not going to solve anything. You have no Come on, babes. It hasn't gotten to that. Moreover, I don't, I don't have the keys here. You need to get me my sister. And I don't ever want to see you again. Out. I love you so. If, 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 you, if you mention that word again, mention, mention that word so we again just mention it one more time. Mention it. Just mention it. You looked that girl in the eye and murdered her in cold blood. And not only that, you dragged her body through the streets and dumped her in the bush like a common criminal. I swear. That is not how it happened. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. Yes. I too wish I could turn back the hands of time. But we cannot, can we? You killed her. Say it. You killed her. Say it. You killed her! Say it! I killed her. Good. You knew what you were doing when you killed her. Say it. You knew what you were doing when you killed her. Say it. You knew what to do when you killed her! Say it! I knew what I was doing when I killed her. That's good, my son. That's very good, son. 
Okay, um, what you're going to do now is... You're going to write a list. A full list of all your accomplices. Every member of the syndicate you're operating in. Their rules, their plans, everything. You are going to write them down for me. Do you understand? You are going to sing like a bird. Better than any nightingale you are going to sing. You will sing every note. You will sing bass. You will sing soprano. You will sing tenor. You will sing soprano to the highest note. And you will sing bass to the very deepest, the depths of it. You will get to it. Write it here now. Go on! Write it! You need to get him out of the way. He's a boy. If he stays there long enough, he will start talking. Party, party, party. <laughs> now listen, I have him all that close, Mark. You understand that? If he does anything, he'll be dead. Ah. Uh, you, you want to kill him? Ouch. Come on, Patty. This is business. Business comes first. Are you expecting someone? Patty. Uh, Chief. You're under arrest. Murder of Zoe Lawansen at the For the unlawful possession and distribution of illicit drugs. Make no mistake. We have not sufficient evidence to put you away. Nearly the cross. Nearly <laughs> me to the cross. <laughs> You know something? You have balls. But don't mistake balls for courage. Because the only balls you have is right between your fucking legs. Huh? I want my fucking lawyer. Answer to that. Anything you say within the confines of this room, all the way to the jail. I am Chief Coca, the one and only Coca. Huh? Officer, take them away. Uh, Mustafa, we have the head of the snake. Go after the rest of the body. I repeat, we have the head of the snake. Go after the rest of the body. Over. <laughs> <laughs> 